And a clean start, that they've done clean. that. That looked clean. That one second Dahini delay. What a flying start from Mo Freitas through the air. Already got a boarding throw to the field. Arthur Rukin, a great start. Michael Booth, a great start. Lincoln Jews, a little bit caught up. Trevor Tunney threw his fast. Danny Ching is caught up on the second row. Out on the far left, Kenny Kaneko got the best of it. Tom O'Bear got a great start. Casper Steinfarth, a great start. But Mo Freitas on the left on that rogue board. The best of the start. Already a board length clear of the boys. He almost was on his feet before the board had even touched the water. <laughs> that was some uh, that was some magic moves right there. Looked like he was trying to do a foil takeoff from the shoreline. As Michael <laughs> Booth gets, oh, sorry, that's Zane Schweitz got a little bit caught up at the back of the field with uh, one of the Suyo boys, but Mo Freitas is going to lead it out. Casper Steinfast is going to try and jump on his tail. Lincoln Jews hammering, hammering to get on to the tail of Mo Freitas and put himself in the box seat. Boxing out, Casper Steinfast. Wow. Well, that's a confident move right there, Dave. He came across and said to Casper, basically, mate, I'm getting this right out to the golden boy. Yeah. So Mo Freitas on that rogue board. Lincoln Jews, the man in the virtual box seat, right on his tail. Casper Steinfarth next to him. But Michael Booth right behind. Whew. All right, that was the first 30 seconds. I've got to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they're settling in a little bit. The, the pace... Or the tempo has uh, dropped and they're, they're settling in to some degree. Can I just say, that's a great drone shot, Dave, right there. A great drone shot. <laughs> Mo Freitas, have a couple of shots at home. Dr Mo Freitas leading them out. Lincoln Jews, so smart. But you know who's on Lincoln's tail? Michael Booth. Michael Booth. So there's so many elements on the line here. We've talked about the title fight all week. If Boothy can stick with Lincoln, he can actually block his uh, path to the title. It's going to all come down to the results of T2, Guillermo and Arthur. But wow, Mo Freitas didn't have a great result yesterday. He said he took the wrong board out there and the wind picked up and he just had a flat water board. So he finished well outside the top 10. But right now, this is his bread and butter, these kind of surf races. But he's won this event here a couple of years ago. Look at how much effort Lincoln is putting into staying on, on Mo's tail. He's trying to conserve energy. He knows this is going to get ugly at some point and he's going to have to attack or respond and he's going to need every ounce of gas he has in the tank so why not let mo do the heavy li heavy lifting out of the starting gate so casper was trying to try and to lead a parallel draft train out to the boy but it's all going to go into a big jumble around this first and a great drone shot as mo freitas goes around first michael booth tries to get his nose in front of casper side by side guillermo from brazil goes around Here's kenny Kaneko goes down Here's kenny goes down and there's a little bit of a bump for Lincoln and Mo, they've got it. They've got it. Wow. So Lincoln Jews. Oh. Juicy. Is he due for a win? He's looking like it right and now. And they cleared the buoy. And he's taking the lead. He's taking the lead by board length from Mo Freitas. And then the rest of the boys are going to have to bustle around that little lobster turn. But Lincoln Jews, a great drone shot here, folks. As Lincoln goes round in first, Mo Freitas in second. This is the PPG's overall title. The Paddle League overall title on the line right here. It's only the first lap. There's three of them. So I'm going to shut up and let you guys call it. If I were anybody but Lincoln Dews, I would be very concerned right now because Lincoln is having a masterful race. He's put himself right where he wants to be. Now he needs a little bit of luck right here. They've, turn, they've turned that south Dave, outside he's on buoy. a mission. He won the distance yesterday where he was 13th last year. He was second in the technical last year uh, to Connor Baxter. He is oh. on a mission to win the double-double. Connor, double. Connor goes down twice. Wow, Connor goes down twice, takes Tom O'Bear with him on the second time. Danny Ching goes up the inside. Martin Vitri gets the best of it. Tom O'Bear got through clean. Kenny Kaneko, Trevor Tunnington, Slater, Trout all getting caught in the mix. Matt Nottage, Young Polar Bear, Daniel Hasulio going around now. Josh Riccio in 16th. But out the front, Lincoln Jews, Mo Freitas trying to pull away. Nothing's coming out the back. They've missed that first set. It's raced away from them, so they're going to have to paddle most of the way. And <laughs> if Look something comes through now... That accordion is just going to get squashed by a semi-trailer. Dave, look at the pace Lincoln's putting on this paddle. He looks like this is the third lap. It, it might be for nothing unless if these guys get that next little swell coming up under like fourth, fifth place right now. This is a roll of the dice for Lincoln. If he can hammer and get onto something, it'll pay off. If not, he's just wasted a lot of energy. Yeah. And he's has look, because you can see he's yes. he shut it down. He's going to wait. Yes. But look at the top. Boothy. Is oh trying to. Oh my god! Boothy's just gonna get over the top of it. Casper's on it. 
Mo's on it. Everybody's on Gil two Hame ways. is on it. Everybody's on oh two ways. Oh my god, out the back. There is, there is 14 guys on that next wave as the drone pans around. Look at this. Are you kidding me? 14 guys on the next I'd wave. I'd be hitting the brakes right now. Here is where it's all going to come down to this clean boy turn. Lincoln just bustles his way through. He goes through, but Gil Hame from oh Brazil. Oh my gosh, look, at, the this best, look at this next one. I can't even watch. Oh my God. Who the hell is going to get around here clean? There's just a they're rainbow going down, of balls. They're going down. Wow. Zane oh. Schweitzer. Zane Schweitzer, a textbook buoy center on the hammer boy. He got through clean. Josh Riccio got the best for Connor Baxter up the inside. Wow. Zaniac and Connor, the two oh. Maui boys, five and six. Oh, my God. Kenny Kaneko got the worst of it. He just got bumped off, and now he's at the back. But oh, It looks like 14 has, guys on a 14-foot board on a buoy turn. Oh. The Croakies buoy turn. Has again? Or Lincoln That's like Gilhame. Oh, Gilhame. Gilhame. We're still butchering the name. It doesn't matter. Let's call him Guy from Brazil. He's Guy. out in the front. The ultra dark horse. Third yesterday. He can gay crash Lincoln's title fight. Forget Boothy. Lincoln's got to worry about Guillaume right now, the guy in front of him. But Lincoln, a masterful boy turnaround there. Yeah, that was yeah. confidence. And was he put on the brakes again as he was approaching with that four-man turn. And you know who didn't get the best of it was Boothy. He's back there now getting caught up by that massive peloton. So he's at risk of getting charged past by about eight guys. It seems Boothy's just locked, just missed a couple of strokes there. The crew on the outside maybe got a little bit fast water, I'm not sure. But Boothy's getting a little bit mown well. down by T2. And uh, looks like T2, Matt Nottage, Arthur Arukin in there as the rest of the boys head up to that first boy turn. This clean water can make such a difference because when you're in the middle of that pack, there's weight coming off all those boards. And all that wake, if you're in the middle, middle of it, that's slowing you down. That's hard to go fast in the middle of one of those big pelotons or that big group like that. And this group is not fading. They are all staying with that main pack. And now they want to wave. This is where <laughs> this... <laughs> This is where they desperately want something so that they don't have a repeat of that 14-man wave mowing them down. But Guillermo Dos Heist from Brazil getting so many shout-outs on the live stream, so many of the Brazilians tuning in to watch. He's one of the, fa uh, one of the fan favorites, that's for sure. Lincoln Jews, definitely one of the underdog favorites. Here's the a wave on the outside, but, but that's not oh. going to help the guys in the lead right now. Lincoln and Guy are going to have to paddle all the way. <laughs> to that inside buoy. And look at Guillermo. He is he's putting getting, in it fifth gear. He's almost downwinding. But look out the back. There's little bumps. So these boys, Lincoln's just milking something, Dave. That's like a two-inch yeah. wave. But he's onto it. He's moving just a little bit faster than he would if it was flat water. They're going to reach that boy a couple of seconds ahead of Mo Freitas and Casper Steinfarth. Boothy's now going to get reeled in. This is critical. Boothy's going to get reeled in by, it looks like, Matt Nottage, Danny Ching, Arthur Rukin, and Connor Baxter. So, Guy goes around the buoy clean. Lincoln goes around the buoy clean. Casper and Mo are going to hit. Mo's got the inside turn. You can look at that great shot. The whole oh field charging God. towards. Oh, my God. Connor tries to go the inside. Arthur gets the best of it. Danny Ching is sandwiched. Matt Nottage goes around clean. Oh, oh, Michael Booth at the back. Now we've look got at this. Oh, the rest of the field. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like a game of Jenga right now. And they're all standing. One down. And that Polar Bear goes round first. Polar Bear gets, gets the best Unbelievable. of it. Unbelievable. Kenny Kaneko, Slater Charts in the mix. The Hasulio boys. Tom O'Bear goes clean. Martin Vitri. The whole field is on the screen right now. Literally the whole field. Seven minutes, 55 seconds on that first lap. <laughs> oh, my we God. We just put 10 pounds of you-know-what in a five-pound bag. <laughs> <laughs> no. I cannot believe. I think we put 50 pounds <laughs> in a five-pound bag. I cannot believe they all just made it through that. Not a single guy went down on that. As we look out to the front, the race is on, though, because Guy just having the race of his life representing Team Brazil. He's got Lincoln Jews trying to mow him down. But Guy is not, he's not phased. No. So Guillermo de Sais, out of Brazil, he's just 20 years of age. Whew. All right, there's still, <laughs> that was still just the first lap, right? Yeah. You're counting. Yeah, we've got two more to go. <laughs> we are on lap number two. <laughs> but seven minutes, 55 seconds on that first lap. They are motoring. Whew. All righty. What do they do now? Their hearts are probably beating maybe not as fast as ours, but pretty close. <laughs> No, right right now, recompose, be efficient. They're going through flat water. You can see they're forming a, a draft train. Um, the guys 
behind from second on are like, well, if I can't lead this race, then let me conserve energy because they just saw what it took at what point on the course they need to expend that energy, right? And Lincoln, trying to get away from the pack, Couldn't. expended a lot of energy. Yes. So he needs to conserve right now and get ready for another attack somewhere along the line. What an amazing race. You're watching the 2018 Pacific Paddle Games being brought to you by Salt Life and Sup the Mag. We are on turn buoy lap number two on the outside. And Guillerme, the young 20-year-old from Brazil, out in the lead. Having an absolute blinder right now. I think he'd realize there's about 8,000 Brazilians watching online <laughs> just cheering for him so loud. He's one of the fa fan favorites right now. But they're going to charge back out to the hammer buoy. Oh, sorry, the, the golden buoy that's painted red this year. And uh, we're going to get a virtual standings. So Guy whips the nose around. That's the unmistakable nose of Lincoln Jews' board. Mo Freitas in third. So it's Guy, Lincoln, Mo, Brazil, Australia, Hawaii, Kasper Steinfuff on the tail of Mo Freitas. And you know what? Connor Baxter has moved up into the virtual sixth spot right now. And there's that a bit looks of a, like Danny. That's Arthur, I'm going to say. Danny Ching, then Boothy. So all right, wow. let's go through the field. We've got Guy, Lincoln, Mo, Kasper. That's your top four. Fifth, Connor. Sixth, Arthur. Seventh, Danny. Eighth is Boothie. And there's nothing to work with right now. It's, it's a true paddle race. And right now, it's obvious because they're drafting each other. When they're in a line like that, in that formation, that means they're drafting. That means there's nothing to utilize from the ocean. But as soon as they turn that next outside buoy, they're going to be moving with the swells. Even as small as the swells are, they are moving in. And so just micro bumps are going to be used to their maximum potential. Okay, they made the turn on the outside. Now they want the surf. And right now, do not see any lines coming through no. for our paddlers coming in. So they're going to be powering yet again no. on the inside. They're having to go expend a lot of energy right now. So this is when that accordion just squeezes back in. But now wave. the train has widened. But if there's a wave at the back, that's when the guys at the front are going to paddle all the way you can look, there's a beautiful snake going around there now. If the boys at the front don't get anything, the boys in 20th yes. can surf all the way up to them. But I don't really see anything on the horizon. There are some small ones, but I don't think they're going to be catchable until at least two-thirds to, to three-quarters th of the way in because they're so small. But you can see something forming up a little bit out there. Passing under that outside buoy right now. Well, Lincoln is now taking the lead. It looks like Guillerme is down more north side, approaching the Crokey's hammer buoy. But no, Lincoln taking small strokes here. He's just gliding. He's conserving. All right, so there is a little bump coming. Here we go. And it Lincoln's might making be big move. enough for Lincoln to get something out of it. If he can get on this, this could be this could be pivotal. Oh, the whole right, he is just sprinting. He is hammering well, right now. There's something behind him. He's got to get it, because if he looks behind, there's 10 blokes on the next wave. Guy, Mo, Mo's off the back, so it's going to be Guy and Lincoln, and then the next wave, one, two, three, nine guys are going to oh, mow Lincoln. down. Lincoln! Lincoln! Oh, he goes down! He's got to get back up. He's got 10 guys oh. behind him. This, oh my god! This race is about to restart Whoa. right now at the hammer buoy. What Except a for critical. Geek, he's made it clean. Mo oh, Freitas is around got, in second. Lincoln's got a split. Oh, oh he goes down. Oh my god. Lincoln Jews, the nerves finally catching up to him. There's a chink in the armor. He's survived though. That could have been a hell of a lot that worse. That could have been disastrous. But it wasn't good. No. Wow. <laughs> and Connor Baxter has now moved into third place. And you know who else didn't get a really good uh, go around that boy? Is Michael Booth, Lincoln's arch rival for the title fight. He's back now in about virtual 10th. But Lincoln, <gasps> that accordion, it's kind of squashed back up again, boys. That's the second time he's been in the lead and could have used a wave to separate himself. And it didn't come. And we have oh, waves some of the boys on the outside. Almost a head-on collision. Zane. Uh, towards the back of the field, just surfing nicely through here, but uh, some of the boys taking a very tight run back out as Casper punches through. Okay, let's settle it down. Lincoln's got to settle their heart rate down now because he's got a real fight on his hands. If he finishes three or four spots behind Guy, Guillermi is going to take the PPG's title. Gate crash the title fight. Give that to Boothy. Throw a proverbial Brazilian cat amongst the Aussie pigeons, and uh, <laughs> that's going to be a hell of a party down there in Brazil. 
Dave, and these waves are too early for these guys to catch in. Oh. I think they're going to pass by, and yes. it, it oh. might end up being a paddle race to the inside again. Yes, and we are nearing the end of lap number two. This is the last turn on the outside. They'll come into the PPG Blue Buoy to start lap number three. So Lincoln's fought his way back up into virtual second spot. He's just going to nicely go around next to Mo Freitas. His tail was on the back of Guy's yeah. board, so he's side by side with Mo Freitas. The deep green board, the blue and green rogue board. Uh, Here that's comes a Guy little up front. wave. Oh, they've got it. They've got a hustle because Danny Ching has just come back from now. Everybody misses a cornerbacks that gets a bit of momentum. Martin the tree, where the hell did he come from? Lincoln Jews is going to hammer Mo Freitas next to him. If this is a bump, they've got to get it right You've now. Got to get it. Lincoln Jews, is it something? It Mo is. Freitas. Oh my Four God! Four guys are on this wave. So now who's the fourth? Connor Baxter. Connor. Guillerme. Wow. Lincoln Dews and Mo Freitas. So. <laughs> Connor is in a little bit of a precarious. Connor's going all the way. Oh, all right. Lincoln's got to step back. Moe's got to step back. Oh, half a foot, and they almost nosedive that. But Gee's almost in a better position. Connor Baxter has gone from fifth to first place. Oh, and he sticks it. Lincoln Jews goes around. Moe on the inside, though. Gee's going back to fourth. The next wave has got five boys on it. Casper Stein, Fath, Danny Ching, Arthur Arukin, Martin Vitri, and Michael <laughs> Booth. But out front. It's Mo Freitas as the cowbell rings. There's only one lap left. Who's going to take it seven minutes to fulfill their destiny here at Dahini as Mo Freitas charges out the front? It's so close. You could throw a beach towel over Mo, Lincoln, Connor, and now Guy, who's gone from first to fourth. But it's not over because there's five boys charging them down, Bo. 16 minutes after lap two. These guys have been doing eight-minute laps. <laughs> Powering, not surfing, but powering eight-minute laps. We're going to have to get a medic on standby. My heart's going <laughs> at 300 beats a minute, boys. I almost <laughs> don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just having so much fun watching this. This is incredible racing. Chris, we were talking about, me and Dave were talking about how this is Connor's race. This is Connor's type of race. He got held back on that lap one, but he found a way to get back into the lead. He's, he's finding the mojo right now. He's out there. Look at that. One, two, three. Good mates. Extraordinary athletes, Connor Baxter, Mo Freitas in the middle, Lincoln Jews, the new kid on the block, Guido Hermos from Brazil in fourth. But wow, Lincoln, he's already back into the virtual lead, and this is where he needs to kind of put those afterburners on. He needs to find that distance wraith, extra gear that he found yesterday, and get a clean shot out to the front so he can again try and make his own luck. You know what? Lincoln worked very hard on the distance race yesterday. It'll be interesting to see if that might tax him a little bit. Because, I mean, he put a lot of energy into it. I, he looks good now. I like what his body is saying. His, lang his body language looks good. His stroke is smooth. So there's, there's no visual indication to get overly concerned for him right now. But you have to take yesterday's race into consideration and how much energy he, he expended. There's a pack of four in the lead, a pack of five in that second pack. This is critical not just what's happening out front, but also what's happening behind them for the overall, the PPGs, for the overall, the paddle league. So many scenarios coming into play. I'm already trying to do the numbers in my head, but basically Lincoln just wants to win and make a certainty of this. He's side by side with Mo Freitas. He's going to have the inside as they go around the next turn, the golden boy, the red golden boy, the last time around that. Connor Baxter on their tail. Guidos Hermos in fourth. He's just biding his time. We go back to the next pack. It's going to be Arthur Rook and Danny Ching and Michael Booth. But right now, Lincoln Jews goes around. He's got the inside. He's in first. Now they look around. And there's a wave. They want something to pop up. Or anything. Anything to get them a little free ride and a bit of breathing space away from that train that Arthur Rukin is now leading. Look, Lincoln's going to get a little <sighs> bit of a surge out of this. So this is so key right now. Lincoln no, not Jews, as much as I thought. Lincoln Jews wants Guilherme and Arthur to finish in between him and Boothie. I'm talking title fight scenarios. Right. That keeps and it's, and it's off happening right now. It's happening. That virtually right now, virtually, Lincoln wins the league title fight. Virtually. Anything could happen in the next five minutes, and it probably will. But Lincoln Jews goes around in first. Connor Baxter in his tail. Mo Freitas third. That's Guillermo Hyde from Brazil in fourth. Arthur Rook in fifth. Danny Ching in sixth. Michael Booth in seventh. Casper Steinfarth in eighth. The set that Lincoln wanted has already oh. gone under the buoy that he's turning right now. He needed one of those, and now the ocean is going flat again. We're back to a paddle race where if something else comes, it could equalize the whole playing field. How many times did Lincoln Dews fall down and fall back, but he's found himself back out in the front? He's determined to win this, Dave. Oh, yeah. There's, there's no doubt about that. 
but boy, could he use a little help from the ocean right now. This is where it's going to come down to this right now. If this is the longest stretch of the race on the way back in, if any of them get a wave, it's going to almost shut the Here door. Here comes a little them. bump. Lincoln is trying to make his own luck. He's put himself further out. Look at Gig. Guido's highest just surges over it. Is Lincoln going to get this? He looks around. If he can get onto this, it lights out. He's stepping back. He feels like he's got it, but it's going to double. He's going to paddle. He misses it. Guy keeps going. going. If Guy gets onto this, he puts himself in the box seat all of a sudden. Wow. Whoa. That was the smallest of waves that he caught way north Are of you all this, me? and he's still on it. And now Lincoln Jews looks around. That might have just been it. Oh, he's got a hammer right now. Guidos Heist just holds the fate of this event in his own hands. If he can hold oh, this wave. No! Oh, oh, goes down! You no! got it! Brazilian goes down! And now there's three boys, Arthur Rook and Lincoln Jews and Connor Baxter are going to get this tiny little bump. No! Oh, drama for the young Brazilian. Connor has the inside on the buoy turn. Let's and they're going to mow him down. They're going to mow down Guidos hey, Heist. Hey, there's, there's still a bit of work to do to, to get through this next little Lincoln's got to do one of his textbook smart boy turns here. Connor goes on the inside. Oh, no, he's down. Lincoln's down. Lincoln's, Lincoln's down. down. He's got to flip that board and get back on in the next half a second or so. Connor. Connor goes down shot. in front. Oh, get up there, Lincoln. Get up there, Arthur. Mo Freitas just got a couple of boilings to me up. But now, Connor, look at him. There's only 500 meters to go in the race. He is hammering. He feels it. Lincoln Jews, though, just found an extra gear. He's surging up alongside Guidos Highs. Wow, Mo Freitas. He's in the mix, though. Danny Ching coming in there. Michael Booth. Oh, my God, folks. Hold it together. There's a couple of minutes left in this race. Wow. What a finish we're going to see here in Dahini. Connor Baxter. You said it, Bo. He just got he wants a break. This. Yeah, yeah. He's had this. He's won this event four times. The last three years in a row, he's won the overall. Look at he Lincoln. just comes out of his skin at this race. Lincoln wow. is just monstering his way to try and get back up to, to Connor right now, but oh. I don't know if you can do that. They're running out of real estate. There does not appear to be much on the horizon in terms of surf. Lincoln has fallen off so many times, he still finds himself in second place. He has just powdered uh, past Guy. He is determined to catch Connor. It's going to come down to another wave. And Connor, there's a little feather if he can get around this buoy in turn. Be the it virtual. two inches or, or 10 feet. Connor is surging. He wants to get onto this next bump. The virtual standings right now have Lincoln in first overall, both for the PPGs it's a and tall, the Paddle League title fight. It's a tall order to catch this, but it looks like Connor's he gonna might get it. do it. There's a bump. He's got oh, it. Are you kidding me? Connor Baxter, how on earth has he done this? He's surged out to the front. He's got it all for himself to surf to the finish line. But now it's all about Lincoln versus Guy versus other. Lincoln has to get onto this, and he's not going to do it. He doesn't have the energy. He doesn't have the legs. If Guy gets here and gets in front of us, it's going to change the whole scenario <laughs> of the entire event. Oh, my God. Connor, Whoa. don't do Look at Connor. He's don't exhausted. Don't do it, Connor. He's exhausted. I thought he was going to do a headstand. I thought <laughs> oh he was going to do the dead ants. I thought he was going to do a buffalo. Just get to the beach, Connor. So oh. Lincoln, Lincoln needs to get this tiny bump. Lincoln needs to get on it. I'm going to provisionally, very provisionally say that if Lincoln can finish fourth, he may still hold on, but there's going to be such some tight numbers here. But Connor Baxter out front, what a performance from wow. Connor Baxter. He's done it. He hasn't had his best season, but he saved his best for the very last season ending showdown. Connor Baxter from Hawaii is going to take out the Pacific Paddle Game surf race. And this Look is going to mean that. a lot to him. What a performance from Connor Baxter. He gets it, and he's left nothing on the water. But Guy, this is so important. He gets second. Arthur Rukin gets third. And now we're going to have to go to the spreadsheet, Dave, because Lincoln Jews is going to cross in fourth. Wow. What <laughs> a race. My Freitas now coming in fifth. And there's still massive implications to go to figure out who's got the overall. I'm not going to say a word right now, but provisionally, I think Lincoln holds on. 